Today's episode is packed with Russia facts. We will taste some Russian food, try to spot a Siberian Yeti, discover why Big Macs in Russia became worldwide political news, and we'll even take a trip into space. Will you get any of the questions right in the quiz at the end? Get comfortable and watch closely, because it's time for Professor Propeller's trip to Russia. Let's fly! Russia, the biggest country in the world. Look at it, it's huge. Our world is made up of the sea and seven areas of land called continents. Russia is so big that it crosses over two continents, Europe and Asia. Can you believe that Russia is bigger than the whole of the planet Pluto? Russia has all kinds of geographical features. Snowy mountains, huge forests, wide winding rivers like the River Volga, busy cities like St. Petersburg, and incredible buildings like St. Basil's Cathedral. Even the biggest freshwater lake in the world is in Russia, Lake Baikal. I have landed in Moscow, which is the big capital city of Russia. This place behind me is called the Kremlin. There are some special treasures kept at the Kremlin, including some Fabergé eggs. These are model eggs covered in jewels made by a man called Peter Karl Fabergé and his expert team. They are very rare and expensive. So just in case anybody tries to steal them, they're locked away safely in the armory here at the Kremlin. <laughs> but surely nobody would ever be silly enough to try and steal these Fabergé eggs. <laughs> Fabergé eggs, you say? Ha! Now there's an omelette I'd love to eat. I guess I'll have to fly to the Kremlin in Moscow. It looks like Steamer, the evil jewel thief, is off to steal the Fabergé eggs. Will the professor be able to stop him? Stay tuned. Expert Chef, Russia edition. Today, the expert chef judge will taste a special Russian delicacy. One of the most expensive foods in the world. Caviar. Caviar is fish eggs. The eggs come from a large fish called a sturgeon. Today, it is being served on bellinis. These are traditional mini Russian pancakes. What will the expert chef judge think? Next time, the expert chef judge will try borscht, a very traditional Russian soup made from beetroot. Oh, oh yes, that's scrummy. Mm. Oh, nice. Mm. Now, let's take a look at some of the animals that live in Russia. Wildlife. Russia has vast, varied and naturally rich land. So it provides the perfect home for all kinds of animals. Some friendly, some dangerous and some very rare. You can find whales and walruses in the sea. On land you can spot wolves as well as Persian leopards, 
brown bears and even polar bears. Russia is home to around 4 million reindeer. And also, climbing in the trees, you could get lucky and see this adorable little creature called a sable. <laughs> in Siberia, in Russia, lives the largest species of cat in the world, the Siberian tiger. This beautiful animal can grow to three meters long. Some people in Russia believe a very unique animal lives in the caves of Siberia. The Yeti. This beast is supposed to be half ape and half man. No one knows for sure if Yetis are real. Some people claim to have seen them, but I think these people are telling fibs. There's no such thing as a Yeti. Joke time! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? I see. I see who? I see a Yeti coming towards me. Quick, open up, let me in. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Meanwhile, at the Kremlin Armory, Steamer had arrived and was sneaking about. <laughs> he grabbed some Fabergé eggs and flew back to hide out in Siberia. Will Professor Propeller be able to save the day? Keep watching to find out. Now it's time to learn about some Russian inventions. But first, let's sit and watch an advert together. Professor Hello. Ingenious inventions. Russia and the USSR has proven time and time again to be pioneers and innovators in so many ways. From trains to space flight, from wooden toys to computer games. The longest train line in the world runs across Russia. It is called the Trans-Siberian Railway. It stretches almost all the way across the country. To travel from one end to the other takes nearly a whole week. A week! There are some lovely traditional Russian toys, like these Russian dolls called Matryoshka dolls. These beautiful wooden toys have a surprise inside them. Another little doll. Then inside that, another little doll. Then inside that, another little doll. Then inside that, Another little doll. If you prefer computers to dolls, then you might be interested to know that one of the most successful video games ever was created by a Soviet man called Alexei Pajitnov. Tetris. It had a great theme tune. You can hear it now. It's based on a Russian traditional song called Karabiniki. To play Tetris, different shape blocks would fall down and you had to try and stack them into lines. One of the most significant scientific achievements from this part of the world is that during communist times, the USSR was the first country to put a human in space. That's right! The first man in space was Russian. See, I promised you a trip to space. I forgot my space helmet. Yuri Gagarin was the world's first cosmonaut. A cosmonaut is a Russian or Soviet version of an astronaut. It was on the 12th of April 1961. He did one orbit of the Earth, which took him 108 minutes. And then you see... Excuse me, I must just check that. Oh, dear. Some breaking news.
interrupt the scheduled programming to bring you this breaking news. Someone has stolen some Fabergé eggs from the Kremlin in Moscow. Police do not know who, but are keeping a lookout for a man in goggles. Mm, that'll be Steamer. Right, I'd better go get those Fabergé eggs back. But how? Hmm. We will bring you more on this breaking story as soon as we can. But now for the weather. With Paula. May I say how beautiful you're looking today, Paula? Oh, hello. What? I, I said you're looking very beautiful today. Mm, okay. Hello to you at home. Russia is huge, so the weather can vary lots depending on where you are in the country. They get most types of weather here at some time of the year. The majority of Russia has long cold winters and short summers. A place called Oymyakon in Siberia in Russia is the coldest place on earth that you can live. It gets so cold here that there's a phenomenon called Whisper of the Stars. This is a little sound you can hear which is made by the hot breath leaving your body and instantly freezing, turning into little icicles because the air around it is so cold. <sighs> Now over to Mick Donovan for sports. Thank you, Paula. I love your new shoes, by the way. Oh, thank you, Mick. How sweet of you to notice. They bring out the colour of your beautiful eyes. Come and have a chat in my dressing room after the show, if you want. I look forward to it. Russian sports fans, let's do this! The most popular sports in Russia are football, also known as soccer, volleyball, and the incredible ice hockey. What an incredible game, huh? So, Russia always do fantastic in the Olympics. Every time they win loads of medals, and some of the greatest sports stars in the entire world were born in Russia. An amazing place for sports. Let's watch some more. Anyway, over to you, David. Thanks, Mick. Have I ever told you that I think you're a complete and Atash. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to... The Quiz at the End! That's right! Tonight's questions are all about... Russia. Russia. Okay, question one. What is the capital city of Russia? <laughs> M Moscow is the capital of Russia. That's right, Professor. One point. Yay. I was just about to say that. It was just literally. Just. Question two. Is Russia A, the smallest country in the world, B, the largest country in the world, or C, the type of hamburger? Hamburger. <laughs> Moscow. Uh, no, Derek, that was the answer to the last question. <laughs> Professor, would you like to have a go? B. Russia is the largest country in the world. You're right! <laughs> <laughs> the largest country in the world. Another point for the <laughs> Professor. Come on! Woohoo! Now for the star prize, the final question. Quiet, please. What type of eggs are caviar? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Derek, don't, don't press it unless you know. Uh, professor, caviar is fish eggs. You're right! And you win tonight's star prize, a Yeti fancy dress costume. Woo! As modeled here by the multi-talented Paula. Wow. This gives me an idea. I know just what to do with that Yeti costume. Mm. Congratulations, Professor Propeller. We'll be back after this short break.
Olden days with why the fly? For nearly 400 years, Russia was ruled by Tsars. What is a Tsar? This is like having a king or an emperor. This ended in 1917, and just a few years later, Russia joined up with 11 other countries to make one giant land called the Soviet Union, or USSR. Initially led by Vladimir Lenin, the USSR wanted to be a communist country. What is a communist country? Right, kids, buckle up and listen carefully, because you are about to get your first lesson in politics. Most of the world's countries today are what is called capitalist. This means anyone can start a business and make as much money as they want. This sounds great! Well, unfortunately, it allows some people to get greedy and take too much. So other people end up poor without any money. The USSR was different. It wanted to be a communist country. Communists believe people should share everything more fairly between them. So no rich people and no poor people. Everyone would be the same. This sounds great as well! But, to make sure everyone had a job and money, the USSR had to keep close control on everything. They owned all the businesses, most people lived in very similar homes, you couldn't really go on holiday to other countries, and they didn't allow other countries to go and sell things in the USSR. But, despite all these controls on businesses in foreign countries, in 1990, an American restaurant chain was allowed to open up. You might have heard of this restaurant. In 1988, the USSR gave permission to McDonald's to open up a restaurant in Moscow. This unusual step of the USSR allowing a big capitalist foreign restaurant to open up was seen by many across the world as a sign of change. Soon after this, the USSR broke up and Russia went back to being a single country once again with more freedoms and a chance for people to become rich again. But unfortunately, this meant lots of people became very poor. So, it can be argued that Big Macs played an important role in the breakup of the communist state and the USSR. We'll be back with more after these short adverts. Home sweet home. <laughs> What's that noise? A yeti! <laughs> it's only me. I better get these Fabergé eggs back to the Kremlin in Moscow. But I'll see you on another adventure very soon. Toodaloo! <laughs>